Welcome to this men's fragrance channel. Today I'm going to show with you my thoughts about the brand new Tom Ford or Dombre leather. This scent has been added to the Ombre Lever line. I've done a review of the two Ombre Lever fragrances, so the Ombre Lever and the Ombre Lever Parfum on my channel before, so I can put it in the cards if you are wondering what I think about those. But overall, I can say that I like them. I really like them. I think the Ombre Lever line it just smells like a bad boy. It just reminds me of like a guy with a huge leather jacket on a motorcycle, very manly, very raw leather. And I was really excited about this new addition to the line. And I'll say that this has become a very interesting addition to the line. I wasn't expecting this with the name such as or Dombre leather. I was expecting this to be a very fresh, maybe citrusy leather, but it's very different. It's perfect actually for autumn, I would say in winter. The bottle itself, it's just a more transparent version of the black bottle. So there is a good thing because you can see the juice and how low you're running. So that is a good thing. The sprayer, it's amazing. It gives you a short burst of this really fast spreading bubble. So it's very, very good for actually spraying. I don't like those that go like this. They are just a bit too, they give you like wet spots on your clothes when you apply them. This scent is a warming leather vanilla scent. I, when I first applied it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I tested it. I gave it to my husband to test as well. This scent, straight of the bud, I absolutely love it. I wasn't expecting this scent, but when I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. This is a fragrance that keeps that strong leather note. You can definitely smell it all throughout the longevity of this scent. But the difference is that the leather is taking a bit of a backseat. You are now in a leather convertible car and you still may be driving but maybe you've put the leather jacket on the back seat you can still smell it distinctively but you've got this warmth in there so you're driving maybe it's a bit cooler air and you just are uh, drinking a very nice warm coffee and you get that warmth of vanilla in there it's such a sexy scent for me in a different way because ombre leather is like a badass sexy raw masculine scent that you can wear every single day this is more of this a whispering sexiness it's uh, a bit more intriguing this is more of a date fragrance for me whereas the other one is like a badass everyday sexy scent this could be a very good date fragrance because that sweetness we just women love a bit of sweetness in immense fragrance i think it just becomes like we love the leather as well but the sweetness makes this fragrance a bit more approachable and i think you would be a bit more approachable as a guy wearing a scent like this as opposed to wearing a ombre leather scent just the original this is pretty good lasting it lasts about eight hours and also the projection is pretty intense actually for the first hour and then it settles down and it's a moderate proje projection i would say it's not a super strong projection but it's definitely just more intense intense than you know you only being able to smell yourself definitely other people will be able to smell you and i would say go crazy with sprays this scent because it's got this vanilla powderiness that for example one of my favorite uh, le mars has le mars parfum intense or armand mode that powdery vanilla makes it so nice and light that you can spray a ton of it and you'll never smell like you have applied too much cologne so apply 8 10 12 sprays you'll be fine you'll smell fabulous and it won't feel like you're wearing too much cologne overall i love the scent if you can't tell i think it's a very sexy as men's scent such a good release i think any of you guys who like the original you'll also like this but in a completely different Different way it's worth adding it to your collection because it's got a lot of that vanilla warmth and cardamom and a bit of ginger but overall you mostly just smell spices 
leather and vanilla. It's pretty simple, but it's genius in its simplicity, similar to oud wood. Actually, oud wood layered with this. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. I have to try that out. But <laughs> if you've got those fragrances at home, also try it out. Anyway, this is a I don't know, 15 out of 10 for me. I absolutely love this fragrance and I think you should definitely check it out if you get a chance. Let me know what you think about this new scent and how many points out of 10 you would give it. One being like really bad, 10 being really excellent. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up to really encourage me to make more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.